Hey, book two. Welcome to Jackie's Reading Corner. I am Jackie, and so I thought I'd do one more quick video before I go and update you guys on Booktober. So, um, as you know, I was in Florida this past week, so I think I did get a little bit of reading done. Not a lot, but I did get some reading done. Like, I'm almost done with... Oliver Twist. I'm almost done with that. Of course, I had started this before that week. Um, and I was going to go to the library today, but it's, unbeknownst to me, it's Columbus Day, so the library was closed because it is a federal holiday. I wish my work was to do that. I wish my work closed on federal holidays, but no, I can't. I can't do that. So, I'm almost done with this. So, um, I am enjoying it. I really do like it. I, it's not, like, I still prefer A Tale of Two Cities um, over this one, which I still need to read at some point. Um, but it's really, I'm not a big fan of the main character, Oliver. I mean, he's a cute character, and you don't, you, you want him to succeed. You want him to get a loving home and all that, but he's just a little too goody-goody for me. Like, I mean, you feel bad for him, and you want, you're afraid for him, and you're like, oh, you know, go away, evil people who want to deprive him of the loving home. But at the same time, he's not the most compelling character. The other character on the... But I think I read in a Goodreads review that he's, just, he's really just a character to help the other characters, you know, go, you know, makes the other characters more interesting, give them something to work with and stuff like that. Like, he's kind of, he's kind of a prop, I guess. I don't... But anyway, I am really like it. It's a very, I feel like it's a kind of fast room because the chapters are really short. Um, it still has, and, but of course Charles Dickens, the writing style is not always the easiest to get into. Though, um, it is one of the, I think I would recommend, if you're just getting to Charles Dickens, I definitely would recommend, at least in my opinion, this is one you, you should try out. Because it's a little bit easier and less complex. There's still a lot of characters and it's still the same writing style, but it's a little bit, it's just a little more easier to get into. Um, and it's one of those ones that, like, there are so many versions that have been made, like the same with A Christmas Carol, that it's like most people are very familiar with, the, have some idea about what the story's about. Um, but, and this is one of those where the chapters are really short. And this edition has a lot of um, drawings in the black and white drawings, which I think is really cool. Um, and it's, it looks big, but like I said, it's a little bit, it's definitely one that I recommend starting with. Um, there are a lot of chapters. And... know that a lot of people as far as like it did have a bit of a controversy because the Ma Fagin is Jewish and people the Jewish community did not appreciate that because he was a villainous character in the story which I thought was kind of interesting um and it does provide a lot of like Dickens provides a lot of commentary with the stories on the society he was part of and grew up in um this edition has a really nice print too it's it's a such a funny it's a very funny very amusing story, um, you know if you're like me novels like this are very hard to read in the car especially if you have to sit in the back seat, um, and that's probably where audiobooks would come in handy, although I don't have any audiobooks, but I do have an audio or compact disc player that a teeny player that I can use. But anyway, it's very fun. It's a fun. There's although there were parts that I was like I was kind of bored with. I just wanted to get through them because they had nothing to do with Oliver per se. Um, but I think a lot of the stuff that's in there, a lot of it, even though it's a lot, it does kind of in the end. I think they can links it all links it all together. I think that's like that's what I've heard in the past. 
Um, so I'm almost done with this one. And then I finally started reading Withering Heights, continued reading a little bit more of Withering Heights. We basically are, we have one of our main characters is Mr. Lockwood, this guy, this gentleman who's visiting, visiting Wuthering Heights, the house, and we have, what right now we have um, um, Heathcliff and his, his daughter, I think I want to say, and then his son-in-law are living in the house, and where this, the house he inherits, and Mr. Lockwood is very curious about the house, and He's had his first apparition, ghostly apparition experience. Um, and he just, because of the way Heathcliff acts, how cold he is and how mean he can be and how he doesn't like people staying at his house, um, Lockwood is curious and starts asking people around. And he's um, talking to this one young woman. I can't remember her name. Uh, Miss Dean or something? Miss Dean or... Um, but he's talking to her and ask her about the house and everything, and she, she was a servant, I think, a servant girl in the house, and he's, um, asking her about, she's telling him how, you know, the ghost, it's Kathy, and he flipped used to be playmates together, but she was kind of mean to him at times, um, and he has a bit of a temper, and he would lash out because the family didn't always treat him kindly, because of his... Romani, I think he's, or they use the word gypsy, but that's not the point, that is kind of an insulting term, so I guess he would be half Romani. Alright, so I started this, so, so far it's, it's very interesting, there's not much I could say, I mean, so far it's very interesting and very curious, but I do already know some of the story. Um, and then I decided I had picked some Anthony Trollope at the library, but, and he was the only other Victorian literature author that I saw there. But it turns out that this is part of the Dr. Thorne series, so I don't know if I can get away with reading this without having read the first book. It's not that I'm going to have to turn the book and I basically wasted buying a book. But, I mean, it's just that our library is not the biggest library. I do like how this looks. I like how it looks like an old book. I mean, I like how it's an old book. So is this one. Although this one doesn't have like much of anything. This is like a naked hardback. So I just want it. I do like it. I almost wanted to try to read it anyway, even though it's, it's part of a series. But, so that's really all I read for Victorian literature. Like I said, I'm almost done with which is the only, which is the one good thing about the fact that the library is closed because it is a federal holiday. The downside is that I was hoping to go today because since I realized that with what time it is, I would have time because the library closed at 5, but because it's still a federal holiday. And, like, the hours doesn't, like, um, with my work schedule because I have to work all week up until Saturday. Um, I can, the next two days I could potentially go, but I would have to make sure I go at a certain time. Like, either, like, I think Tuesday I can go before work, and then Wednesday I think I can go after, I would have to go after work. So, I might just go tomorrow before I go to work tomorrow, which I don't go to work until 1.30, so I'm, I might be okay. And I think I might take advantage of my mom dropping me off. So. Anyway. So that's what's going on in Victober. There's, I don't have a lot to say um, in Victober, except for, like I said, I'm almost done with Oliver's Wood. Um, and then tonight I'm going to start. I meant to start when we were driving the car, but I forgot to put that book. Like, put that book in, act, in you know, in Access so I can easily grab it. I mean, although I, could, I still could it because I could at least keep the, that, that tote bag with me in the car um, this time. I ended up being more focused on Oliver Twist. But I'm going to start reading 
a woman of no importance that's the other that's the next group where we get to all start doing that one tonight and I'm going to finish all of our twists. Like, I'm going to go and perform my run. And then I'll finish reading all of our twists this evening. That way, and I'll read the play. Um, tonight. Okay, so that's what's... That is what's going on with Tober this week. Of course, I don't do anything, like, fun or creative. I just read the book, so... Um, and this is, like, my first time participating. Um, so, which I'm not too good to start. Knock on wood. Hopefully I don't mess that up. Like, I just gotta not be tempted to read Rosebud until the last week of October. I don't get as much Victorian literature as I can and then start reading Rosebud. I mean, if I don't get to Rosebud until November, then that's okay. I just... It's one of these things where I just want to read at least one scary thing in, in October. Um, but anyway, are you guys doing, are you guys going with the October reading list or are you going more of the scary reading list so, for this month? would love to know. Feel free to share in the comments below which, for, which version of October you're reading in October are you going with. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up click subscribe if you have not and i hope you're enjoying your reading and i will talk to y'all later all right bye